Before I conclude, let me just go ahead and mention this point. This process either is going to go smoothly for you, and I truly hope that it does. Like, you won't run into any error messages at all, as we ran into earlier in this video, because I didn't have the iTunes program updated. Or the process is not going to go very smoothly. What happened to me is that I ran into yet another error message. This error message, I believe, was error message number nine. Error message number nine has something to do with the USB cord or the phone not syncing with your PC or your laptop correctly. So there are some steps involved as far as uh, what to do on the web page. If you do run into that problem, just follow those steps on the web page. That's what I did. I went through all the steps. It still did not work. So when all this failed, I restarted my computer, reopened the iTunes program. I detached my USB cord from my PC, reattached it. I had to do that maybe four or five times. And then when I got tired of detaching and reattaching the USB cord, I finally just kept clicking on the restore option in iTunes until the phone finally went through the process. So bear with it. You might run into that also. I remember having at least one customer that ran into that same issue and he ended up calling in because he probably went through the same thing that I just went through right now. But just in persevering, it just started working for him. So I think that's just the nature of electronics sometimes. But anyway, just keep that in mind. Persevere because you want your phone unlocked. Now, if you do run into issues like what I did and your phone simply will not restore, and so you're just completely locked out of your phone, your phone is now useless, you still have a few options. I would say first thing is to contact your carrier and see what steps that they would have available for you. Um, they more than likely will try to walk you through these steps again here, but since you've already done them, you'll just let them know that you've tried these steps, you've persisted, it just does not work at all. Um, they may or may not refer you to Apple, or they may just transfer you directly over to Apple, uh, which at that point, let Apple know what's going on. They'll probably, again, attempt to do the same steps with you over the phone as what you would have seen in the steps in this video. They may have something else available. I'm not sure, but more than likely, it's going to be these same steps. So keep that in mind also. If you say, well, those two options don't really seem like good options, um, at least contact your carrier first. They may have something else that um, I'm not aware of that they can do for you in this situation. Uh, the last option, the third option, this is if and only if you have an Apple store close to you, because a lot of us do not. Um, a lot of us in the United States, anyway, we don't have an Apple store too close to us. But if you're fortunate to, either online, find that local store on Apple's website, uh, make an appointment online, or I think you even can just call the store, make an appointment that way, stop by, and then the store will work it out for you as far as getting your phone unlocked. All right, so with that, those are the steps that you would take in order to get rid of that iPhone is disabled message. Hopefully you never come across that, but it does happen. You'll forget your passcode or you'll think you know it and you put it into your phone and it doesn't work. So you do have steps that you can take in order to get rid of that message. Keep in mind though, again, if you did not back up your phone, then you will end up losing your information, but you'll gain your phone back, access to it. Again, this was restoring your iPhone through your PC or laptop through iTunes. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you, and this is Keep It Simple Phone Tech.